Hey guys, welcome to Christmas in November. I only have, I think this one page to do yet for my mm -hmm. December daily from last year in my Life Crafted album. Um, and it is our uh, Christmas Eve. Well, it was the Eve of Christmas Eve, but the night that we celebrated Christmas Eve because we were going to be at my sister's for Christmas Eve and scheduling wise, it was going to be crazy. Anywho. Um, so I have already kind of laid out where I want my photos. I think I'm just going to do a big photo collage, but I think I'm going to stitch around each and every single one of these just to give it a little bit more interest. And if I find some cute other like things to stick in between the photos, I might do that as well. Um, just to do something, um, interesting but not too complicated I just want I kind of just want to get it done <laughs> um but then and then we have this um other side which I'll make this the title page and probably some journaling and then we'll do something fun um with that photo up there but that's what I have for you so let's get started all right what's super fun about this one is I actually end up uh finishing it Finishing my December daily after this page. I technically, it isn't done. I thought I was done. Um, I just have to had to do the page that is the 26th on. I decided to just do one page that is December 26th to the 31st just to journal about it because not a lot happened after the holiday, like all the holiday things. Not a lot happened, and so I just journaled about it. But I was able to finish it all, so I kind of finish up some details at the end of doing this page and then I will actually do a flip through at the end so stay tuned for that if you want that if you don't want that you can stop <laughs> after this part um but I had some wood grain left and this red paper so I figured I'd pull that in so I just did kind of a strip down the right hand side and then for the three by four card areas I'm going to do the opposite I did a strip on the left hand side so that it kind of frames both pages um I was going to stitch around all the photos, but I start get going with all like the little embellishments and stuff I have. I remembered I had all this washi tape. Like I said, I'm trying to wrap up my December daily, so I'm trying to use up whatever I have in there. And I did kind of a collage um, like this for Christmas Eve photos as well, which is fine. I just, like I said, I was to the point where I just wanted to get it done. So, it, but it doesn't bother me. It, it's fine. It still looks cute. All the pictures got on there. The story got told. I'm going to try to do a little more storytelling, I think, for this year. Um, so, yeah. So, I did that. And then I'm going to, I had made some of these little labels with a um, Felicity Jane. Um, stamp a while ago for another page. So I'm using up some of those, putting that on my photo and I'm just going to then kind of embellish. So I'm doing that, trying to figure out where I'm going to put the date because I ran out of date. One thing about December daily, if you've never done it before, I highly recommend one thing that I wish I would have gotten told is don't just pick random stickers or alphas to do your dates because you're going to run out. There's never enough twos. There's never enough ones to do all the dates. If you're going to do December daily, purchase something a kit or a set that is specifically for December daily if you want if you I guess if you care if you want if you care about your album being consistent if you don't care and you want it to be more eclectic and a little bit different on every page then it doesn't matter but I even had three thicker sets and I ran out of the numbers that I needed so I stamp I stamp the date on this one and then I stamped on the 24th as well and I'm actually going to fix that while I fix this page. So I kind of got that left-hand side 3x4 um, card kind of figured out. I stamped um, big smiles on that label and then I stuck it to the side. Now I'm going to work on this right-hand side. So I'm just going to glue all the pictures down, add some stickers. Um, I added a stamp there too. I don't remember what that one says at the moment. But I'm going to add a little bit of washi tape, add some of these word stickers that just say joy, like... This one says Christmas Eve, even though it's the Eve of Christmas Eve. I, w I was trying to see if there was another Eve on there, so I could be Eve of Christmas Eve, but there wasn't. Um, add some of these photo corners to some of the photos. I just kind of put them on some random ones just to add some of that gold that I have throughout a lot of the other stuff. Just adding some good old embellishments here and there. Yeah, I put those mittens in there. 
I'm going to add some washi tape. Um, I've got this glittery gold washi tape that I'm going to add to layer on a few spots just because I want to use some of it and get some of that gold on there. So I'm done with that pretty much um, until I decide to add the washi tape underneath this one. So I'm going to glue the photo down and then I'm going to add washi tape and then um, that label that I stamped. So I'm going to go ahead and add some washi tape over on this page in a few spots. Uh, and then now I really wanted to use up some of these sprigs that I had die cut uh, for my December daily. So I grabbed this giant silent night picture or sticker. I'm just layering some of those up underneath it. And I'm going to journal on the top and bottom of that oval. I added a little green heart. Yeah, I tried to add whatever I could off that sticker sheet or this 12 by 12 sticker sheet I had, I think from an, a simple stories collection or an echo. Park. I don't remember. They're all pretty old. Um, on the right hand page so I did any any small things so all the hearts um, those mittens that kind of thing and so I want to put the date on that top photo and I went and found this gray circle label in my LA studio stash stamped the 23 only use half the circle and realize and then after I put it in my um, in the page protectors I flipped to 24 and I didn't like that I just kind of stamped 24 on the top of the page so I'm going to stamp 24 on the other half and put it on the next on the 24th too and I tried to zoom in and, and show you guys closer of what I was doing and see there I was looking at that going oh yeah look at that'll fit and perfectly cover that up so I'm going to stamp 24 and do that so adding a few finishing touches and then I realized I never put the date on day 25 either and I, because I, I, like I said, I rate was running out of stickers and I wanted, I remembered after I saw day 25, I wanted something kind of big and bold. So I remembered I had these gold, like, uh, they're tile, um, alphas and numbers, but they're big tile alphas and numbers. So I'm going to, um, after I get this stuck back in there, I'm going to go ahead and add those to um, day 25 as well. And then that, and then I just need to do day 26, which you just saw the picture that very last page. Um, so I thought about stamping day 25 because I was like, how did I not do that? And then I remembered I was going to try and pull this out, try and find them. See, they're, ju they're huge. So I'm going to grab a two and a five and do day 25 on underneath this tree. It's a different gold than it's on the background. That's like more of a rose gold in that collection. Uh, it's not snow and cocoa, but it's, it's a crepe paper line. I can't remember which one right now. Um, but yeah, so then I have all my, I journaled every day so that, cause I knew I wasn't going to be able to scrapbook every day and print the pictures. So I at least journaled and got that done. So I was able to do that, get that glued in. So now my album's complete. All right, so now that you saw me finish that, I figured I would just do a quick flip through because now my album is done. So this is my Life Crafted from Citrus Twist. I don't remember what color this one is, um, but it came out last year. I love these albums. Um, so I have my title page, which I have some journaling just in general about the year some awesome just little items I tried to keep the snowflakes and uh, gold and red and um, kind of cream and craft and green as like the theme but I didn't plan very well as my first one so I ran out of supplies <laughs> um, but it worked out it worked out pretty good 
Um, so then here was day one and we had uh, an advent calendar, a Lego advent calendar. So I wanted to make sure I documented every day um, the item that he got which I did, I successfully did that. Um, and we do have another one for this year, so I'm excited to see and to do that again. And so then here's day two. Um, and I tried, uh, I think this year I'm gonna focus more on the documenting and the story and stuff and less on the pretties, but then I have these awesome uh, cut file dividers from Confessions of a Paper Addict that were last year released. And here's day three with hidden journaling because it's Nana Day. It's the uh, anniversary of my mom dying. So it's a day to myself, which I'm excited. This year is going to be as well. Um, day four. So what I love is Citrus Twist has all these different pockets. So you can do like these are all Citrus Twist pockets. So you can do different kinds. They also have these awesome um, adhesive strips so that when I want to print, do something slightly smaller or slightly bigger, they have these adhesive strips that you can do um, whatever size you want and it already has the holes punched out. So it's, it's like the page protector hole part, but then it's adhesive. So then you can attach whatever you want to it, which I, I, I love so much. So I was able to put, not worried that this was gonna be too small for a page protector. So you can see it's smaller. Um, and then I was able to trim it down, but yet, it still has the holes, which is really nice. So then there's day four. Oh, I'm sorry about the glare too. There's probably a huge glare. Oh, okay, we're gonna put it over here. So I'll kind of flip through these really quick again for you. I'm sorry, I just remembered about the glare. I'm still not used to that I have more space for filming. So there, um, and then day four, day five, and I love these pockets that they have. And then day six. Day seven, this is another cut file from Confessions of a Paper Addict. Day eight, Christmas cards. Day nine, it's our top five movies and our top five books that we like to read. And then this Day 10, this is a cut file from Confessions of Paper Addict as well. This was my son's uh, Christmas list. He wrote it the wrong way, but I figured whatever. It's the it's his letter to Santa, <laughs> his list to Santa. Um, day 11, day 12, day 13, we also celebrated my dad's birthday. Day 14. This one I could have put in a page protector. I didn't because of all the tags at first. But now that I ended up gluing them all down because they kept tangling, I could have put it in a page protector. But day 15. This is day 16. It got all smeared. Day 17. My son was in uh, Live Nativity. Day 18. Very simple. Day 19, this is more of day 19. Celebrating with my husband's family. We celebrated Christmas early that year instead of later. Um, day 20. A nice cut file. Day 21, this is my favorite pages. Day 22. Day 23, day 24, and then this is where I kind of started running out of the red, green, the traditional colors. And day 24, day 25, and the rest of December. So that is my December daily. Yeah, I didn't show this one because this is a lot of journaling about the rest of the year, and that's, yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that's my December daily for 2020. I finally have it done. It's not December yet, so I did pretty good. Um, I would love to make some foundation pages for my December daily for this year um, to get it done ahead of time. We'll see if I get time to do that, um, but that's my plan. Uh, that's yeah. my plan. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next time.